You will see this often with that lead hand. Stevenson often paws it out and just meets his opponent's jab. Creates a rhythm and will often shoot that back power hand many times to the body. Look for the right check hook from Shakur Stevenson. Yoshino's already starting to lunge forward. He's trying to close the distance, not coming behind the jab, and occasionally moving his head. Good right hand. Yoshino goes with a right hand to the body. Shakur just slightly getting out of range. Tries to go underneath to the body again. That's a good choice. A good shot for Yoshino to attack the body. When you have someone so elusive like Shakur Stevenson, you have to attack the body. And Shakur has been standing still a lot more in his fight, so the opportunity will be there. Right hand to the body again from Yoshino. Shakur covering up on the inside. Smart, just closing the distance right there. Your safest place is when you're sitting down in your corner, but also it's in close, in tight, where your opponent, like Yoshino, wants to work and wants to live. You always talk about Stevenson being a master of range. What do you see early on with that? I asked him. I went into his dressing room earlier today, and I asked him, I said, how long does it take you to figure out your range and distance and where you want to fight at? He said, give me two rounds. Two rounds, that's what he told me. So it's all about positioning right now. He's gauging what it is Yoshino's trying to do. He understands now. And he wants to take that away from him. Score meeting him with that lead hand, then firing off the jab. Goes underneath with a left hook. Watch the feet, watch the clipping, okay? Alan Huggins, veteran referee for our main event. Measured first round between Stevenson and Yoshino. Top Rank Boxing on ESPN is brought to you by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Only pay for what you need. Big crowd to see their hometown guy. Shakur Stevenson had a 12 to 6 connect advantage in round number one. He detailed how much more focus he feels like is a part of his life. He said, you know, everything in my career to me is starting to heat up. He says his focus is different. It's nothing but boxing. And he admitted to us that even when he fought Oscar Valdez, when he was unifying titles, even when he fought Jamel Herring, when he was absolutely dynamic and earning a belt, he said that he had lapses. He had a lack of focus at times outside of the ring. That was a slip. Off balance was Yoshino. Well, he understands what he's up against. You know, this is a stacked division, 135-pound division. You know, if he wants to take it over, he knows he also has to be on another level. Yoshino with a straight right hand that was able to split the guard. See, that's the fight right there that Yoshino needs right there. Getting in the inside, letting his hands go, and just hit anything. It doesn't matter. Hit anything. Shoulders, arms, forearms. Hit him in the chest. Side of the head. Doesn't matter. Just land. Disrupt the timing of Shakur Stevenson. Bernardo 
I spoke with Kai Zama, who's the assistant in Yoshino's corner, and he says the instructions were more pressure in this round. It was a good start, but they want more pressure on Shakur. In terms of pressure, in the two signature wins against Nakatani and Ito, Yoshino averaged nearly 73 punches thrown per round. In that first round, he threw 42. He found a pattern. Shakur found a pattern. Yoshino, he'll stick the jab hand out. He'll start jousting with it. Then he'll step inside, drop his head, and change levels and look for the right hand. And Shakur meeting him with the straight left hand. Oh, and there's a knockdown score with a left hand. Pinpoint accuracy and timing from Shakur Stevenson. Absolutely perfect left hand. Uppercut. Backs it up with a straight left. Remember what Yoshino said about doubting Shakur's power. And remember what Shakur said back. Let's show him. He just showed him. Just missed with that sweeping uppercut. Shakur Stevenson does damage here in round two. There's a left hand again. Yoshino showing fight. He's been in tough fights in his career. He's just never been in against somebody this skilled. Shakur goes underneath on the inside, sends him off balance with a check right hand. That was a masterful left hand moments ago that scored the knockdown. And you see a very fiery Endgame Yoshina trying to brawl his way back into this thing. A 10-8 second round for Shakur Stevenson. Good job, baby. Good job. Good job. Just stay sharp. Keep it nice and sharp, all right? Now, Water, how you feel? Start doubling that jab. Keep fainting him again, all right? Keep fainting him. But look, take one short step. When you step back, one short step and throw that right hand in that hook. Okay? And I had to bang, bang, It's all about on. pattern okay. recognition. Shakur Stevenson. Brilliant mind. He recognized the pattern. Yoshino stepping in. Little out of Go position. It looked like he was coming with a left hand over the top, throwing a jab. Shakur just slipping his head outside, throwing the left hand. You see him on his back foot right there. Beautiful, beautiful shot on the chin. Yoshino never saw it coming, and that's the reason why he went down. There was head movement prior to that that set it up, and then just the slight slip to the right, the straight left power hand. One of 16 power punches landed in that second round by Shakur Stevenson. He's landing 59% of his power punches through two rounds with a knockdown score. You'll see the dip, and then you'll see the right hand come from Yoshino. Shakur will start, start throwing a straight left hand and look for the uppercut as well. Just the second time that Yoshino has been knocked down in his career. There's that check hook. He's past the second round. He's found his range, Dress. See, in, in that first two rounds, he's, he's judging, engaging the technique of his opponent. The tactics that he's trying to use. He, he understands what the strategy is, and once he realizes that, then he starts getting to work. He gathers information about his opponents first, gathers his range, and then he goes in for his assault. Ooh, nice. That was a left hand that hit right on the belt line, and it backed up Yoshino. And now Yoshino willing to trade with Shakur. Trying to get that lead foot to the outside and land a right hand as Shakur covers up, absorbs those punches, and then places a left hand to the body. Two punch combination, including a right hook upstairs. Doubles up the right hand. I think he took offense to those doubting his power at 135 pounds.
Great control work right there. He's using the probe. Trying to set up something up top. Two punch combination scores up top. And now right in the kitchen, literally opening up his arms, probing, looking for an opening. And look how Yoshino's getting his foot outside. He's trying to get the lead foot dominance, but Shakur Stevenson is too wise for that. He can move both directions. He can move to his left. Clockwise and counterclockwise to get his offense off. Tight combination on the inside. Yoshino with a left short left hook on the inside. Tries to back him up with a straight right hand. Yoshino is game. We knew that coming in. That power hand from the southpaw stance, including a left uppercut. Nice control right there. That's head control. That's what he's seeing right there from Shakur. Why he's pushing the head down on Yoshino, controlling his body. Spicy chicken fries, chicken fries with heat. Appetize a mini meal, a spicy treat. Eat them anytime, cause you're royalty. The box fits a sauce that's pretty neat. BK, have it your way. That rocking chair would look great in our new house. Oh, a new house, eh? Well, you should definitely see how Geico could help you save on homeowners insurance. Nice tip. I'll give you two bucks for the chair. Two? <laughs> that's a Victorian antique. All right, how much for the recliner then? Wait, wait, how did that get out here? That, that is definitely not for sale. Is this a yard sale? If it's in the yard, then it's for, for sale. sale. Uh, here we go. Geico, it's easy to switch and save on homeowners and renters insurance. If you Walmart, you know that with everyday low prices, you can spend a little less to get a little more. To a little rope-a-dope. From Shakur Stevenson in that last round. Bust. Got his back on the ropes. No problem at all. Just taking some offense from Yoshino. Bust. Bust. To land his own offense. Check it out here. There he is. He bags up. Little rope -a dope Oh, I'll take a few. I'll let you get comfortable. Let your hands go. But as soon as you stop, there you go. Take that. Take that. He punching in between his shots. Beautiful right hook right there on the finish. Great sequence right there from the high, the intelligence, Shakur Stevenson. And there was a left uppercut that just landed moments ago here in the first 30 seconds of round number four. As Yoshina is trying to stay in that pocket and exchange with Shakur, but Shakur is more accurate. He's so defensively sound. We always talk about plus minus when it comes to Shakur Stevenson. The gap between his connect percentage compared to his opponent's connect percentage on him. Right now, it's a plus-minus of 37. He's number one in the world in plus-minus ranking, and he's dominating right now, landing 49% of his punches thrown compared to Yoshino's 12%. Bernardo. And Yoshino's corner, they want an answer, and that answer is to punch with Shakur Stevenson. Don't wait for him to punch because it's too late. Isn't that the truth? Tess, you can put them in a phone booth right now. And you see the dominance of Shakur Stevenson. You see the skill set. You see the, the controls that he uses on his opposition. You see that. You see the combinations, the pick choices, up, up. the quick decisions that he makes in real time. He said to us yesterday that he believes people need to relabel him stylistically and what he is. He said, watch what I've done in recent fights. I stay right in front of guys. Look, uh, phone booth. Yes. Literally. Arms reach apart, and he's dominating and not getting hit. So the Shakur Stevenson early in his career, and perhaps the Shakur Stevenson leading to his first title, is not oh. the Shakur Stevenson you've been seeing in recent fights. It's this version. Yes, and another and, accurate left hand lands. And a nice right hand right there from Yoshino. But, you know, he's getting lucky occasionally. Shakur Stevenson isn't perfect. Everybody gets hit, but... The fact that he's that close, he's in punching range. He will take some shots. He will. Woo! And another knockdown scored. Five, six, seven, eight. Step to the left. Get back in your corner. Get back in your corner. Come to me. You want to continue? You want to continue? Okay. Box. Right hook. Straight left. 
Combination leads with the uppercut. And another uppercut. He is so sharp tonight. So, so sharp. Two knockdowns at the end of four. Oh, keep bringing that hope behind everything, all right? All right, whatever you do, even when the body shot, bring that hope behind it, all right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Okay, do it, do it. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, watch out. Three more blows. Oh, watch out. Keep your head to me. Keep taking shots like that. We're going to end it, okay? Protect yourself, okay? All right. Yeah, two more blows already. See the combinations right here from Shakur Stevenson. Coming around that guard, beautiful right hook. The combinations, just throwing, letting his hands go. That opened up. He moved the guards right there. Boom! Left hook, sitting them down like a child in timeout. Beautiful work right here by Shakur Stevenson, the phenom. Right hook scores the knockdown. Three-punch combination. 22 of 34 power punches landed. He is landing 63% of his power punches thrown. Round number five. And this against an undefeated top contender. This a title eliminator. And Yoshino has two signature wins coming into this fight. Box. There's that right hook again. Yoshino's leaning forward. He's so primed for an uppercut. Lead. Yes, he's primed for an uppercut, but also the check hook. When he leans forward, he dips, he shoots the jab on the right hand, he runs in with shots like that, and he's available for the check hook. There's the check hook. There it is. Throws him off balance and goes with the left to the body. Comes back with the left upstairs, just a grazing blow that time. That lead hand is doing damage. Goes yeah. underneath that time with the left uppercut to start the combination. It was a singular straight left that scored the knockdown in the second round. It was the three punch combination capped by the right hook in the fourth round. Headshot was able to sneak around the guard. High guard killer right here. That lead hand of Shakur Stevenson. So comfortable back. standing right in front. Step back, step back, step back. So defensively skilled, but far more offensively minded as the career grows. Mature. Yes. Mature. Maturity. You see the physical maturation across his back. You see the temperament and style being well defined now at this stage. Goes underneath to the body with the left hand. Already a two division world champion. Already in the top 10 pound for pound fighters in the world in a division that is going to be red hot. A division that'll see an undisputed title fight on ESPN pay-per-view between Lomachenko and the world champion Devin Haney. By the way, Bill Haney, the father and trainer of Devin Haney, the undisputed champion of the world, told Mark Kriegel, Mark Kriegel reported earlier tonight that Bill says they are not moving up to 140 pounds. 135 is the real estate you want to be in, folks, right now. That's what I'm talking about. Bill Haney and Devin Haney is about the legacy also, just like Shakur Stevenson is. That's what they're about, my goodness. Shakur Devin Haney wildly skilled himself. Show me something, show me something. Step back, step back, step back. Time. Tonight, you get pumped for your meeting with your go-to ragtag group of misfits somehow wins it all movie. Remember, guys, glory lasts forever. Bottle that confidence, Mike. Tonight, La Quinta. Tomorrow, you triumph. The return of the cheesy BK Melts trio. Bacon, spicy, classic my heroes. In-laws in town, it's been a long day. Can't get me down, I got it my way. BK, have it your way. There are a great many things that can be found on the road. A giant blue whale in central Oklahoma. 
musicians in search of that perfect melody. You'll even discover the center of the universe. You'll find stories of lives led, challenges met, and men who raise pigeons. They're all out there waiting to be discovered. All you have to do is follow the road. They said you got to show me something to Shuichiro Yoshino. What he has been showed is an onslaught of power punch damage from Shakur Stevenson, who has scored two knockdowns, who has landed 97 power punches as we begin round number six. Watch your hands, watch your hands. Tess, everything that's been done in the ring right now by Shakur is done on his terms and his terms only. When he wants to sit in the pocket, he'll sit in the pocket. If he wants to move, he'll move. He has total control over Yoshino. And Yoshino's taking a, a ton of punishment. He really is. And these are the fights you got to worry about when, you know, a fighter taking too much damage. You got to worry about, you know, brain bleeds and things like that because it's not a whole lot of punching power on those shots, but they're hard enough. They put him on the canvas twice, but if he continues to take this leather, it's not good for him. Ooh, oh, he just caught a big left uppercut. He crossed that threshold and met a left uppercut. Shakur lining up behind that jab. He hurt him with that a jab lead right there. hand has been devastating tonight. Test that was a jab on the chin. Yes. He hurt him with a jab on the chin. Just turning over that jab alone. It doesn't take the check hook for Shakur to have success. And now Yoshino tries to come in and place anything he can. Yoshino, even in some of his biggest wins, have taken punishment. That is another shot, and that's enough. And to your point, Tim Bradley, the accumulation, yes. the